Henry Schein <laughs> is a provider of healthcare products and services to office-based dental, animal health, and medical practitioners. Yeah, so it's about 50% dental. So whatever we've been saying has largely been about orthopedics, but now I think dental, and here we're talking equipment that you put in your mouth, like, you know, crowns and that sort of thing. But actually a lot of the business is about the equipment that the dentist uses, everything from the chair to the vacuum equipment and the drills and everything else. Oh, don't remind me of a dentist <laughs> chair. <laughs> Group has a market cap of 12.6 billion US dollars, price to earnings ratio of 26.8, 26.9, no dividend yield on this side of things. Let's quickly look at the share price graph before we go any further. Yeah, also looks good. Bit of a disappointing uh, reaction to earnings guidance most recently at the end there. Mm. JP, talk us through that reaction and why the market was disappointed. Well, it was just earnings coming below expectation, nothing too serious. But this company is a bit different than the other ones we've been speaking about. If, if we wanted to stay with the orthopedic theme, we could have looked at Medtronic or Smith & Nephew. Mm. Uh, Henry Shine is a distributor, so closer to a Mary Sauce Bergen, uh, a McKesson, um, and it does distribute products to these offices, smaller practices, which actually puts it in a very good position. They're not competing or, or rather negotiating with big hospital groups. Um, it's much easier to tell the one-man show or the three-man practice uh, what your prices are, and they don't have pricing uh, uh, pressure from the, the, the customer saying they want to cut in prices. So a very good position, a very good company, very good track record. And a CEO since 1982, the same person, Stanley Bergman. Mm -hmm. I think you've got a, a nice... Uh, well, he's a, a South story African, about he's a Vince, mm. a CEO. That's actually the reason I put them in the conversation <laughs> today. Because they've got a South African CEO. Yeah, South African CEO, though, resident in the U.S. a long time, but a real legend has taken the company, you know, forward in leaps and bounds. He's been in, in the bounds. position since 1982. Yes. And in addition to that, the South Africa uh, chief uh, here is a guy called Normal Kumalo, who's a friend of mine. So I thought, well, you know, it'd be nice uh, to talk about Of course, about you <laughs> wouldn't leave it out <laughs> on that basis, hot or not. I like this company a lot. Uh, very good position, uh, big relative to its customers, but the valuation is full for me. So I would keep it on, on in front of mind for a better entry point, but for now at this valuation, not hot. Paul? I'm going to go with hot on this one, even though I think if I was to carry on describing the range of their products, your facial expression may change. You know, they do the polishes and the little mirrors and uh, then the other we, things. We, we've, got, <laughs> we've got it. We, we can picture this. Being in a dentist chair, I think everybody's... Uh, on a screen. <laughs>